<laughs> so hey everybody, uh, it's Anthony, what's going on? So I wanted to show you all this before, today is the recycling day and I just want to show you kind of all of the stuff that I have. Um, Japan has a bit of a recycling problem and we're gonna talk about it for a minute. And by recycling, I mean, I mean plastic problem. Basically, this is all of my recycling material for maybe, this is about three weeks of stuff and I'm one person. Let's look at that for a second. One person in three weeks. This is like my entire body weight. That's a lot. But this is a serious amount of plastic. Like a serious amount of plastic. We have stuff from frozen foods, we have stuff from tofu, we have stuff from mochi and pasta and chips and crackers and this isn't just limited to, to processed foods. So we have mochi, plastic, plastic, broccoli, pre-wrapped plastic spinach, plastic udon, with individually plastic wrapped udon bags. Yeah, Japan has like pre-cooked noodles that they give to people, it's really strange. Here we go, tomatoes, in plastic, in plastic. I don't understand. Tofu, plastic wrapped in a plastic container. Apples, wrapped in plastic. Nuts, plastic. Can of uh, fruit, that's what they call it. And we'll take my garbage, we have like kusagi peas and meat, wrapped in plastic. And then things like onigiri are also wrapped in plastic. Those are rice balls. Hey, this is future Anthony, like two months later. Um, this is actually more, so like they don't ask you, they just put this stuff in bag. Uh, more plastic, tomatoes in different types of plastic, pre-wrapped plastic. And this is actually more like what the broccoli normally looks like. It already comes like wrapped in plastic. The other one was actually kind of rare. This is what you have to buy normally, at least where I am. And there's really only one reason why I'm not super upset about all their plastic use, and that's kind of the seriousness in which they handle all of their recycling. If they weren't so militant, most of this stuff would probably be thrown in a garbage can, and that really wouldn't be acceptable. Let me show you what I mean. This is future Anthony, this is like, this is like j late June. Oh, my, my camera's falling. Late June Anthony here. This is just two more bags of plastic. This was a couple weeks worth. This actually has my peanut butter containers. If you see that, my peanut butter jar containers. Cleaned and polished. Um, and then this is plastic bottles. Um, I've recently stopped buying plastic bottles because I realized how ridiculous it was. I was mostly buying like tea and sometimes water on my way to work because I don't have a reusable water. I, I have a reusable water bottle, I have a couple, but they're, it's, it's stupid and I should stop buying them. But if you do notice, all of these bottles are stripped, their caps are off and the wrappers are taken off and those go in the regular recycling. So this is like super strict, like there is a protocol for this. They will get mad at you if you do not recycle these bottles correctly. And then, cans. This is all fruit cans because fruit's expensive here and cans are cheaper and fruit's good for you and I like Fruit. Those are all those are all cleaned as well, so they're strict about cans. And this is all glass. Cleaned, clean glass. I think these are like jelly and pasta, but like I don't eat that much, but this is like my whole time here, like in one bag. So the point is they're strict, okay? Uh, it's now like future, future Anthony. We're gonna go to the store and we're gonna look at all of the animal uh <laughs> this isn't a vegan video. <laughs> plastic, plastic stuff. Come on! Their apples are wrapped in plastic. All plastic, that's all fish, all plastic. It's potato jelly and plastic. All of the meat is plastic. This entire aisle is like sauce and plastic. You have seaweed in plastic, you have fish in plastic, beans in plastic. There are cans, but they are rare. And plastic bags on the other side. Their snack aisle is like plastic wrapped, plastic, plastic in plastic, and it's everything. Literally everything.
mochi in plastic. So sad. All right, post grocery store, post shower, Anthony. I said, like, like I said before, they are pretty strict about the recycling here. If you recycle wrong, like my landlord will call my boss who owns like this apartment and they'll tell me to fix what I'm doing. So it's like a whole thing. I think, I think it's increasingly important that we as human beings need to continually think about our life situations and the impacts of what we have all of the time. I do my best, I clean my plastics, I collect them, I separate them, I sort them, and I am hoping that they're actually being taken care of. As you saw, like I can't even buy whole vegetables without buying plastic here. It's very sad, I hope to see things changing in the future. My solution is easy, stop wrapping things in plastic and wash your vegetables. Like what do you, like, <laughs> my hometown didn't do this. Japan, you're fine. You're fine. Anyway, everybody, it's been it's been wonderful. What what do you notice in your life? What um do you do you t do you take do you take care of stuff? Are you a good citizen of the world? Um, if you like this, please subscribe. I will be making more content, and um, I have huge travel plans coming soon. So if you want to see my adventures in Indonesia, Thailand, China, and Taiwan, stick around. See you next time.